just gonna show off my sweet new shirt that like I'm obsessed with and it matches my unicorn donut leggings very well. It is only suiting that we do another unboxing. It's going to be half vintage models and half body models. I find that really interesting because I never used to collect vintage models at all, but now slowly I've started liking some of them. The paint jobs on some of them are kind of cool. We're gonna start with the medium one in the middle first, I think. Slightly concerning that they are just chucked in this box because they're body. So bodies are fun because you don't have to be really delicate with them because he's missing an ear entirely. <laughs> These guys were all really, really cheap. They were like $15 each. And I've always liked this mold. His shoulder is whack. I like his head specifically. Oh my god, they're like... It's fun because I don't care <laughs> that they have giant marks hanging out on them. So I think this is for dates, which actually is quite a nice model. I never got this guy in OF, but I love Solenero. This one's really good. This is a Peter Stone, actually. He's covered in a very nice paint layer, um, but that's easy enough to strip off. This one is one of the best ones. I had originally one of, one of these and she's already actually in the customizing phase but I needed a second one because I want to make a custom of my real life horse I'm on this mold. It's one of the most suiting molds for her. She doesn't have a tail which is totally fine by me because I usually cut off the tail anyways. And this one was the most exciting. So I've been looking for one of these for forever. This is a Weather Girl. She's missing a tail, obviously. Weather Girl is a really nice sculpture. It's very Arabian-esque. It has a lot of good happening in it, and I really like the anatomy of it, so I've wanted to do a custom on this mold for a while. And then I got this little guy, too, because he is just so, so sweet. I love it. It's the... I don't know what it is, if it's classic or... So that's the body haul. So this box is the vintage models that I have started collecting and this box is a very special model so we're gonna save that for the end. I hate that they like write my address like giant on the side of the box. So I don't remember how many I bought. I bought too many. That's all I know. I hope he's not destroyed. He's not amazing. I was hoping he would be perfect. Hmm. This is the Clayton Kick Corner Horse on the ADS mold, and I mean, he's okay. Worst comes to worst, I could customize. Right? Really cool looking horse. Like, I like these kind of these funky paint jobs. I've started liking them a little more. Oh my god. He's like mint, too. So this is Bandera. This is going to be a body, but this model is like flawlessly perfect. Kudos to this, like, person packaging these so nicely. Savannah Dial? Dial? However you say it. It's on the Indian Pony Mold. I really like the Indian Pony Mold. She's pretty cool. She's... Oh, he's so orange. <laughs> he's like very orange. <laughs> this is the San Domingo in buckskin something. Got a crazy dorsal stripe, but he is neon. <laughs> yeah, not totally sure on this guy. I would name him Cheeto. <laughs> uh, I think his name is Thunder. He's very, very shiny. Very, very shiny. This guy I bought as a body, but once again, like, pretty damn flawless. And the last one... Oh, I like him. Oh, so cute. See, this is the quality of vintage that I want. Like, unflawed. So these are like Briar's old, old Appaloosas. So I don't even know who this is. This is like a JC Penny something or other special run. It's fun to see like Briar's old ways of Appaloosa and markings and whatnot. And he's like a lot of fun, but he's really clean. So that's like keeps the bubble wrap now. So the last one is a very special. This is supposed to be a body, so I'm hoping it's not too nice, and I actually can 
use it as a body because I need to use it as a body. But it was a trade deal for one of my customs and I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Who could it possibly be? Guys, yo, 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 it's Alba Rosso. So if you guys had watched my previous video on um, unboxing the rarest briar in the world and that model came new in box and originally that particular person was supposed to tell, sell me two and so I was going to paint one and keep one in box but when I got it it was too hard for me to contemplate unboxing it. So I since have been looking for an Alba Rosso very intensely. And this particular person had one and wanted one of my customs so we did kind of like a a value trade plus some cash for the custom so that always is my favorite because it works out for everyone it works out for me it works out for them especially for an Alba Rosso who is so hard to find these days that is all that I could ask for so I finally have my body Alba Rosso now this guy is genuinely flawless he doesn't have a single hoof rub and seeing him in person now though I don't love the coloration the one that I have at home as just my OF show horse. He is a lot nicer. Really nice dapples on one side and he is pretty nice but he's not the nicest looking one I've seen. This horse is worth so much money nowadays which is crazy because it's just a plastic briar but everybody wants him. So thank you so much for watching and happy collecting. Happy hoarding. That should be what it's called. Happy hoarding. Happy hoarding all of your bodies.